Hey guys, no zoo for you here, and you can see right now I'm loading out my 15 point captain in the play test with the new skill tree. I want to take the time to talk about two skills, one in particular that I think is going to cause a lot of debate, and you probably already heard about it, that's the radio position finding. Also I want to talk about priority target, which at one point I think is going to be heavily used, it's a very neat little feature. You can see right here I'm just kind of loading out my Bugioni, getting it ready for battle. So, I'm just making sure I've got everything on here. It really doesn't matter, but might as well, right? It's free. If you all haven't done the playtest yet, I highly recommend it. You get to try out things that nobody else can because it's not out yet, and it gives you an idea of what's coming. So, I'm going to jump into a battle real quick, and it's not going to take long to get in here. So, radio position finding. What is it? It automatically tells you where your closest enemy is. Yes, that's right. No enemy is invisible anymore, especially if they're close to you. I really think that this level four skill is going to be highly debated. And you can see right here, there's, there's this little kind of crescent moon on the screen as I go back and forth, back and forth like a pendulum with it. Yeah, it's making myself sick. So anyhow, this represents your radio range finding. And you're going to see what happens to it when this battle starts. So uh, also I told you that I have priority target. I want to focus on that as well. That is a nifty little one point skill, which tells you how many ships are actually aiming at you. Not necessarily how many ships can see you, but legit. How many ships are aiming their main guns at you and are preparing to fire? I think that is a very, very neat tool that works in conjunction with situation awareness. But I think, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Look, look at this right here. You can see that little crescent moon moving to the top. What that means is this is the direction of the closest ship to you. Now, in many games, it's suspected that that will likely be a destroyer because they are the quickest. They're going to head towards uh, cap points and everything else. This has huge implications for gameplay. What that means is it takes away the element of surprise, but it also adds a lot of strategy to it, especially if you have a ship with radio position finding, he's going to be able to communicate to the team to say, hey, look, a destroyer is going to A, a destroyer is going to C. And you can see right now it's shifted. What that means is another ship probably overtook the original one as being the closest to me. It's headed in my direction. And I'm just going to make a beeline for it to show you how this works. This, this little crescent moon, your little radar, will always be in the position of the nearest ship to you. Whether it's a destroyer, whether it's a battleship, or whether it's another cruiser. So right now, I'm rapidly approaching on it. I've got no warning showing that I'm spotted, and there it is. Um, you, you briefly saw that it was a cruiser that popped up. He's 8.18. 7.8 clicks out, he is rapidly gaining, and now I'm detected, and I know that one ship is aiming at me based on priority target, and no longer. So you can see this destroyer pop up right here. My rangefinder is still pointing towards that other ship, because that destroyer is not the closest ship to me, that cruiser is. And that kind of tells me what I have to worry about, what I gotta, gotta keep my eye on. So I know I've got AP loaded. I'm, I'm just really messing around this round, showing these abilities. And there we go, 3.6 clicks out, my, my radio position finding is still focused on that one ship right there, and I'm going to creep out of smoke and take care of him. Um, again, the implications of this skill are huge. Some people have said it's overpowered right now, I'm not going to take that approach. I'm just going to kind of tell you my thoughts on it and what it is as I torque this ship that's unfortunate enough to just kind of wander out on me. As you can see, no one's aiming at me right now. I'm detected, but my priority targeting is telling me that no one is aiming at me. So I can just kind of move around 
free to do what I want. And that's why I think Priority Target is such a neat little skill. It, it really gives you a heads up and tells you when or when not to worry. So I know no one's firing at me, even though I'm detected, I, I can just go about my business shooting down ships. But again, the, the radio position finding, in my opinion, is a game changer. But I, I'm not gonna say it's overpowered yet because not everybody is gonna be able to take this skill. I think it's gonna be popular, obviously, among cruiser captains, especially, especially Royal Navy. Um, and I, So you can see right now, one ship is aiming at me. Um, I don't think it's this cruiser right here, though. Someone else is targeting me, but not this, and I'm no longer targeted. Um, and immediately, the range finding goes to the closest enemy right now. That happens to be that battleship, so I'm gonna swing around and take care of him. I'm detected, but no one is focusing at me again, because I know that, because of the priority targeting. Now someone is, it's not that battleship, it's someone else. And just as soon as I was being focused, no one else is. So, again, I, re I really like priority target. It's a neat little feature for a one-point add-on. Um, again, though, radio position finding. Um, it, people are going to say it's overpowered right now. We haven't even played it. We don't know. That's the thing. No one knows the implications on the game because both sides are going to have it. And I suspect it's going to take the first strike ability of destroyers away. It's going to take their ability to cap away the way that they've used to. But again, destroyers shouldn't be solo capping. I mean, the capping should be a team effort. So again, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, yeah, I, I just really don't know what's going to happen with it. Um, it. You're going to have to give up a lot to take it if you do want it. Because at that level 4, you've got manual fire and AFT as well. So, you know, if you're a battleship, you're not going to want the range finding. And, and this round was over as quickly as it started. Um, but there's more to this. So I'm, I'm going to flip over to something else right now. Um, some Royal Navy gameplay. And here you can see I'm in smoke. My rangefinder is telling me where the closest ship is. I'm going to break concealment. And he's going to be right there, obviously. Um, I'm detected, and he is obviously aiming at me. I know this because of priority targeting. And he put a hurt on me right there. But it's okay because he's a computer enemy, and he's not the smartest. And again, I'm just screwing around. But radio position finding, you probably by now, based upon this video and other videos, have a good idea of how it works. Um... Time's going to tell whether or not it's overpowered. It is going to change the game a lot, especially since both sides are going to have it. It's going to take first strike capability away from destroyers. It's going to take their stealth cap ability away because you cannot hide from this. There's no way to hide from this ability. There's, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, another interesting thing about it that you need to keep in mind and you'll see that once I finally destroy this Colorado right here it shifts and it's gonna go to this aircraft carrier that's hiding aircraft carriers used to be very good at hiding and had these bombers not destroyed me here in a moment's notice I would have been able to take him out um, but and you can just see him right now uh, as I'm sinking he's gonna pop into view right here so he's the closest ship to me I know where he's at and this gives me another advantage. I, I know where the aircraft carrier is. So, radio position finding is a very, very, very good tool. Overpowered, I don't know, because you have to give up a lot to take it. I, I imagine this is going to be very popular among cruisers, and maybe even destroyers, if they're willing to give up concealment. But if you have a 14-point captain, you're going to be able to take these skills. If you have a 14-point captain, you're going to be able to take both concealment and radio position finding. So, in conjunction, those two are going to be absolutely devastating for enemy ships. Especially destroyers if they get out there first. Um, priority target again. Um, when working in conjunction with them, is just a very, very very neat combo because you know who's firing at you and how many people are firing at you but I, I know there's a lot of debate right now I, I know this radio position finding is it's the hot topic and there's people falling on both sides there's people saying it's overpowered it's ridiculous 
Um, and then there's people saying that, no, no, it's not overpowered. And I, I have not made up my mind yet because obviously this is a play test. We just don't know. Until it gets out there and everybody has the ability to take it, we don't know. And again, we, we don't know how it's going to play out. We, we don't know if people are going to take radio position finding over AFT or manual firing. It's going to be ship dependent. And I suspect this is going to be popular among Royal Navy ships. Maybe among Russian ships, maybe among, maybe among uh, the uh, uh, Kriegsmarine. I, I don't think... U.S. cruiser captains are going to, or players are going to opt to take RPF over the other things like your uh, AFT or the the enhanced AA. So I, I'm taking a neutral stance on this. I can't make my mind up on it because it's not in the actual game yet. But I, I will say that it is a powerful tool, especially in the hands of a seasoned veteran. It, it is going to be a very, very powerful tool. And you can see right now, I, I'm making a beeline automatically for the first ship. I, I, I don't know where he's at, but I know he's the closest one to me. So I'm going to head in his direction. I'm going to go after him. And, th and that's what makes this a powerful tool. No ship is completely invisible. Your concealment will keep you concealed. It'll keep you hidden. But someone is always going to know where you're at. If you're the closest ship to them, there is no hiding. If he wants to find you... He will find you, and I, and I think that's where some of the consternation regarding this ability is. Um, so there you have it. Radio position finding and priority targeting, which I think is a really, really neat little one-point skill to have. You know how many ships are firing at you. You know when and when not to be worried because it tells you if main guns are pointed at you. That, for one point, I think is a bargain. That's a very, very cool skill. So, guys, let me know what you think right now. Tell me what you think about these new skills and whether or not you're worried about this, this four-point captain skill, which some people think is the worst thing to happen or something that's not that bad at all. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. I, I'm very interested to find out. I've given you mine. Uh, I'm staying neutral right now because we, we just don't know. I have one small caveat. Before publishing this video, I went to bed and I woke up and I had time to ponder about this skill just a little more. Now I know radio position finding is a very, very, very hot topic right now. People are either for it or against it and there's really not much middle ground which I tried to take. Since again, it's not actually in game for everyone to play. I just want people to keep in mind that this is available to both sides and I think right now people are only thinking about it as how it will affect them and solely them. But this is a tool for the entire team and it's really going to create a lot of strategy. And I think it's actually going to benefit destroyers as well, the actual ships that people thought it was going to hurt the most, especially if destroyers equip it you will be able to take caps quickly and efficiently if the other team does not possess this and you do because you're going to be able to get to the caps where there's no ships at. However, if the other team does have this, you all are going to be able to counter each other. It's really going to turn these matches into a chess game if ships actually possess this. Now, there's always a chance that you might end up in a game where ships don't have this. But if they do, it's really going to alter things. And again, we really have not seen yet how this is going to play out. It's really going to take this being released for us to know the full effects. Now, when that does happen, I think we'll know fairly quickly whether or not this is overpowered or not. Whether or not this tool is disastrous or whether it makes things interesting because you've got teammates on your team that are actually cooperating coordinating, calling out locations, telling you where to go and where not to go. So this is either going to be a boon for the gaming community of World Warships, or it's going to be disastrous. So I just urge you, take a little calm right now, and let's wait and see how things play out. Because I think, I think the idea might be right, I just don't know if it's going to work correctly. Only time will tell.
One minor fix that I think would be pretty cool to it that actually Little White Mouse gave me the idea of, because she brought it up and I agree with her, I would maybe have this pulse. Make it so it's not continually on your screen, but maybe every five seconds or so, it just flashes where that nearest ship is. So it's not continuously there. And it does leave just a minor, minor amount of guesswork. Again, it's a tweak that I think might help it, but let's just wait for it to get in game and then decide from there what needs to happen. We've been good about making changes with World of Warships. They've listened to us. If there's a huge issue with this, I'm sure they'll listen again. So, anyhow guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope the new year is treating you well, and I will catch you all later. I am out.